My name is Jamie Hansen from the EdTech and Design Department, and today I am going to tell you and show you from the SmartBoard how to download PDF and images. I'm going to start out in Class Link, and I'm going to go get a PDF from Stemscopes. Pick your grade. And the lesson I'm going to teach is going to be on life cycles. So I'm going to scroll down, go into life cycles, and I specifically want the vocabulary. So the vocabulary is going to be under explain. And in here, you can see pictures and you can see the word and the definition. I like this, but I want the PDF version. So I'm going to click download here. And it opens up in basically whiteboard. So here I go. I have all the vocabulary here with the picture, definition, and word. And uh, I just by clicking and holding down, I uploaded it into whiteboard. It is also over here in my files. I'm going to go to downloads, and it's right here also in your files under downloads. All right, I'm also going to download some math in Think Central. So I'm gonna go back to my class link. Think Central's right here. There we go, third grade and into the student edition ebook. Go to PDFs. This time is a little different. I'm gonna do say problem solving. I'm going to hold it down on that one. And you can see all the different options to choose from. I'm going to choose open and new tab. Okay. And it went back into your files right here. And again, you can click on it and it'll open it up into your whiteboard. So I uploaded a PDF from Stemscopes into the whiteboard area just by clicking download PDF. But I noticed that in, in here, I need the frog life cycle. So I'm going to go find that image of a frog life cycle and download that. So I'm going to go back to my browser and I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to search for life cycle of a frog in images. So switch it to images. And as I look through, I really like, say, this image right here. So once you tap on it, it's now over here. Hold it down. And all these different options start. I would pick download image. And all done. Go back to your board. Go to your files and you have the image there, but I want it into the presentation of the a PDF that I had of your life cycles. So here it is here. I'm gonna add a new page and I'm going to go to images the, from the board, gallery. There's my frog image and I just uploaded it into the same presentation. Here you can again make it larger and change the size. Another way to put this image onto an existing slide would be the same way. Say you want to put a side by side, add in an image you took from online on this slide. You could go, I'm on this slide, go back to your picture, go to gallery. And I saved my frog picture there, it's right here. And now it put it on top, but you may want to shrink it down and put it right next to it. So now you have a side-by-side -side to show your kids two different life cycles.